Hello everyone, it's me, Rob. Now I know you're waiting to watch your Draw With Rob video, but I hope you don't mind because I thought I'd pop up here and tell you about something super exciting. I know lots of you have enjoyed my Draw With Rob activity books. Well, guess what? There's a new one. This one here is called Draw With Rob, Build A Story. And as the title suggests, it's all about how to build your very own story. So we're gonna be talking about what characters you can include in your story, where are you gonna set your story? Whereabouts in the world? Maybe it's not even gonna be set in this world. Maybe it's gonna be set in outer space. When are you gonna set your story? Is it gonna be in the present day, in the past, or in the future? We're gonna be talking about beginnings, middles, and endings. Um, things like plot twists. We need some unexpected things to happen in our story. But it's all gonna be done via lots of fun activities. So we have lots of your regular draw-alongs. Hang on, let me see if I can find a good one for you. Here we go, a superhero bear draw-along. We've got your frames here. Every page is perforated. Make it easy to tear out and stick up on your wall. We've got lots of other activities too, puzzles, colouring. So it's really super fun. And then right at the end, we have some blank pages for you to write your own story on and draw the pictures. And then you can tear them out, staple them together and make your own book. So it's super cool. You're not going to need me at all soon because you're going to be writing your own stories. Hopefully that's the case. And one day, who knows, maybe I will go into a bookshop, buy your book, and you can sign it for me. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Now, I know you're desperate to watch this Draw With Rob video, so I'm gonna leave you alone. I'll just tell you that you can order the brand new Draw With Rob book from wherever you get your books right now. So why don't you go and do that? Okay, Rob, it's over to you. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Draw With Rob with me, Rob Biddle. It's lovely to have you here today. Now then, I'm a children's author and illustrator. You might have seen some of my books before like this one, Blown Away, my very first picture book that I wrote and illustrated. It's all about Penguin Blue here who goes out flying his kite on a windy day and he ends up getting blown away. Maybe you've seen this, my latest picture book, Dog Gone, out now in paperback. All about Teddy, who loses his human. Look, there he is. There he is with his human. They have lots of fun together. One day, he wakes Dave, his human, up. Says, can we go for a walk? Off they go out for a walk. But then, <gasps> something happens. Let's see. There's some squirrels involved. Look, squirrels here. Teddy runs after the squirrels, because look, they've dropped. Can you see? they dropped all their acorns. He runs after them and says, <gasps> You've dropped, your, you've dropped your acorns, guys. Here you are. And when he runs away, look, he realises he's lost his human and an adventure starts. And all because of these guys, these squirrels. So I thought today I would show you how to draw a squirrel. What do you think? Squirrels are pretty cool. I like squirrels. I see lots of squirrels every day when I take my dog, Ringo, out for his walk. We see lots of squirrels in the park near to us and I really like them. They're really cute and sweet. And Ringo likes them too. Sometimes he likes them a bit too much actually. He tries to chase them but not very often because he's he just doesn't really notice them. He's too busy sniffing the ground nearby. Anyway, squirrels are fun to draw. So this is what you're going to need. A piece of paper, a pen or a pencil and then maybe something to colour with a bit later on. This is how Draw With Rob works. We're gonna do this drawing together, okay? Lots of you, if I was just to draw a squirrel here, finish squirrel and say, right, copy that, it might be a bit overwhelming. And you might think, oh, I don't know where to start. So that's where I come in because I can show you exactly where to start. We're gonna do this drawing together a little tiny bit at a time. I will draw the first bit here, pause me copy what I do, start me up again, I'll draw a bit more, then you draw, then I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw, I draw, you draw. And at the end, we will end up with a lovely picture of a squirrel. Now then, this is a fun one to do. I did this at the Cheltenham Festival last year. We were allowed to do one event because it was the pandemic was happening, wasn't it? Which meant we weren't allowed to do any live events, but I managed to do one. We kept it all very socially distanced and I went on stage at Cheltenham and there were lots of lots of people there and we drew a squirrel together and it was really fun. So I thought I'd show you all how to do it. So here we go. Are you ready? Right in the middle of your page. Well, actually slightly above centre, I would say, of your page. No, right in the middle. Let's do it right in the middle. I want you to start with a very simple V shape. 
like that. What an easy start. Now then, we are going to turn our V into a Y, okay? So let's just add a vertical line, quite a long vertical line, like that, all the way down, okay? Then at the bottom of our Y shape, I want you to add a little horizontal line. So it looks a bit like a tall wine glass or something, doesn't it, at the moment? And then coming from each end of that horizontal line, we're just going to add two small vertical lines, like that. Now the next thing to do is we are going to add, going across the top of at the top of those two vertical lines, another horizontal line, like that. Can you see I've very slightly curved it upwards at the edges? And that's because we are going to turn that horizontal line into a rectangle. We're going to go up, we're going to go a long way past that V shape that we did. Right up here, we're going to turn around, we're going to come back down the other side, and we're going to join up again. And now, our little squirrel is starting to take shape. What I want you to do is add four little dots here on this side. One, two, three, four, like that. Then exactly the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. Pokey dokey. Right, the next bit of our drawing. From about here, so maybe half a centimetre up from the bottom corner of this sort of rounded rectangle, I want you to draw another horizontal line, maybe a centimetre or so long, okay? Then we are going to curve around and we're going to head right up our page, like that. Probably to about there, okay? Then at this point, we are going to draw a leaf shape. So that involves coming around in a curve like that and then going back down. We're going to leave a gap of about half a centimetre in between there. So it's a nice sort of leafy shape at the top. Now what we need to do is exactly the same on the other side but in mirror image. So I'm going to start from here actually. First of all I'm going to draw a little line across there. Then I'm going to draw another leaf shape. So a mirror image of that one. We're going to come around in a curve come back down there, then we're going to go down on this side, around to join back up at the bottom, like that. You're starting to see our squirrel now. <laughs> That's right, the first bit we drew with his, was his or her little nose, little teeth. Interesting fact about squirrels' teeth, they never ever stop growing. Did you know that? Because they spend their whole lives kind of gnawing at acorns or nuts or tree bark or whatever, their teeth just never stop growing because they're always wearing them down with all their gnawing, like that, wears it down so it just keeps on growing forever, their whole life never stops. So if they didn't gnaw anything their teeth would be about six feet long. Now that would be a sight to behold. <laughs> right, let's wake our squirrel up now shall we? Let's draw a couple of eyes, we're going to draw a little circle in this little gap here, quite low down. And we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. So two little circles for eyes. I'm going to change my pen. And then right in the middle of those, let's do two more circles that we colour in. And look, our squirrel is awake. Now, do you remember I always say, don't I, that eyebrows, they really help with the personality of our squirrel. So we're just going to add two little eyebrows quite a long way above the eyes like that. Now the ears here we need to give our squirrel sort of a little ear lining so what we're going to do is another little leaf shape inside that main leaf shape just like that. We can do it in both ears. One, two. And can you see I've left a little bit of line sort of overlapping at the top. And then squirrels they have these sort of tufty bits on their ears so what we're going to do I want you to imagine this line here continues straight up in a straight line like that and then just add two more little straight lines, like that. Same on this side, the line carries on up. One, two, there we go. Little tufty bits on our squirrel ears. Very nice. Okay, time for our squirrely body. 
I want you to put your pen about halfway between this corner and where it joins the sort of the nosy area. And I want you to come straight down your page. Like that, almost to the bottom. And then we're gonna curve around. Go straight along the bottom, curve back up and join up with that side, like that. Okay. Then next we are going to draw a little circle there and we're not going to quite join up our circle, we're just going to leave a bit there and instead of joining up we're just going to do one line coming up there and one line coming up there. And that's going to be one of our squirrel's little hands. We're going to do another one here, exactly the same but mirror image, so circle, line, line. There we go. His little paws, hands, claws, paws. Are they paws? Do squirrels have paws? I guess they do. And then what I want you to do is just a thin line that sort of comes up there, through that arm, goes around the top into that arm, comes back through here, joins up there. And that's our little squirrel tummy. Time for the back legs. Now this is a fun bit. Uh, which way should we do? Let's start at the bottom actually. We're going to start down here and we're just going to draw a big horizontal line coming straight out about five centimeters long like that okay then from there we're going to go up and round and follow that line back but we're going to stop before we get to the end we're going to stop about there we'll do a bit of smudging going on rob already not to worry then we're going to come up in a big curve round there and join back up to the side and that's going to be one of our squirrel's back legs. Let's add three little claws. One, two, three, like that. Let's do exactly the same on the other side, but mirror image. So let's start with our horizontal line. Try and get it at roughly the same size if you can. We're going to come up and around and back along. Then we're going to go all the way around here to do the sort of the horn, which I might even add. Just a little bit of a furriness there. One, two, three. There, we've done this one quickly, haven't we? We're motoring along today. Lovely little squirrel chap or chapess. Now then, what is a squirrel most famous for, do you think? What's that? The teeth, somebody said teeth, that's true. They're famous for having these little gnawing teeth as I spoke about earlier. Ears, yes, yeah, sure, little tufty ears. But there's one part of the body they're most famous for. That's right, they're big, bushy, tails, aren't they? they? They use their tails to balance, I think, when they're climbing up trees and stuff, because they spend lots of time in the trees, don't they? And um, and when they're running along and stuff, I don't know. They can, do you know how fast squirrels can run? 20 miles an hour. That is super fast. I know they're fast because sometimes when Ringo wants to go over and make friends with them, they run away quite speedily. <laughs> And yes, they use their tails, I think, to help them climb up trees because they're really good at that, aren't they? What they do, they go up the trees to get acorns and things and then they take them away and they store them for the winter, don't they? So that they, when they, they hibernate in the winter, then they've got a nice store of food to sort of see them through. And they're really good, they, they're really useful when it comes to the spreading out of trees, actually, because what they do, they often they take an acorn from a tree and they'll go and bury it in the ground somewhere and then that acorn will grow into another oak tree. So they are one of the animals that's most responsible for spreading trees throughout the countryside. So there you go, squirrel fact fans. Right, shall we draw this tail? This is my favourite bit to do. Who knows, who, know, who remembers that I like drawing swirly bits? I do, don't know, on my signature I have a swirly bit. When I do nostrils, sometimes I do swirly bits. Well, the squirrel's tail is a very nice swirly tail. So this is how we do it. We're gonna come out from the foot here. We're gonna come out in a nice, big, sort of reverse S shape, okay? So we go out, in. And then when we get to sort of about the same height as the eyebrow, we're gonna come around and we're gonna do one of our, my favorite things, one of those nice swirls, look at that lovely swirly bit okay then what i want you to do is from just above the eyebrow in this part of the head we're going to come out and around and we're going to sort of follow the shape that we've just drawn but we're going to come around and we're going to add you know we add sort of zigzaggy bits to make it look a bit sort of fluffier and furrier and we're just going to follow that all the way around and join back up there and look a squirrel's tail isn't that nice 
and if you like you can just add a few little lines around here again just to suggest a little bit of fluffiness you can even do the same over here if you like because they are sort of quite fluffy characters did so you see what i've done there i just added little lines here and there not much and that just suggests that our character is lovely and fluffy smudge alert how have i done that oh there we go there's the culprit silly rob not to worry as i say these little mistakes, they make it look like a hand-drawn picture then, don't they? Which I really like. Right, so there we go. That is our squirrel outline. Um, shall we do some colouring? Now then, as per usual, you can colour your squirrel any colour you like. But there are sort of, in the main, I think there are two varieties of squirrel. There's the grey squirrel, which is what we see usually over here in the UK. But there's also the red squirrel. Now they are endangered. They used to be around a lot more sort of 60 odd years ago, but they have become endangered because of the gray squirrel really. I think gray squirrels came over from um, the United States actually, I think. I don't mean they got a plane. They didn't jump on a plane and fly over. I think somebody brought them over and they sort of started to spread throughout our country and they've become the dominant squirrel species. So I think the red squirrels are sort of, um, I think you know the grey squirrels were maybe a bit stronger and they've sort of they've sort of taken over from all the red squirrels but you can still find red squirrels in parts of the country I think there's some up near the Lake District but I I can't really ever remember seeing one in the world which is a real shame because they are such beautiful um, uh, animals red squirrels not the grey squirrels aren't but the red squirrels I think maybe because they're so rare I just think they're really beautiful. And do you know what a baby red squirrel is called? This is super cute. A baby red squirrel is called a kitten. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So I am going to colour my squirrel in red. It's going to be a red squirrel because I just think they look cool and I've never seen one in real life. So the next best thing is to draw one. Um, but you can do yours grey. You can do red like me. You can do yours bright blue if you like. There's no rules and you can add patterns. You can do anything you like to your squirrel. But I'm gonna go away now, I'm going to super speed mode, and I'm gonna draw, colour in my red squirrel, and I will see you back here in what, 30 seconds, something like that. Okay, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so there is my finished red squirrel. I am pretty pleased with this. Some nice colours going on. I added a little bit of background, you will see. A bit of grass, and just a little suggestion of a blue sky background. I'm so desperate for it to be spring. I'm just kind of um, <laughs> trying to will it to being spring in my, uh, in my drawings and my colour palettes and things like that. So there we go. So once you've finished your drawing, you need to sign your drawing. Of course you do. Let's sign mine down here. Rob. There we go. Rob. Everyone needs to know who's created these lovely works of art. So don't forget to sign your drawing. Um, I can't wait to see your pictures. I've got a good feeling about this week. I think there's going to be lots of all, all sorts of different coloured squirrels. Do you know what? There's a black squirrel too, I think. Um, a relatively recently discovered species. I can't remember where now. If I remember where, I'll stick it up there. I think they've been discovered quite recently. Here you go, I'll put a little education station up there. Hopefully that is telling you all about the black squirrel now. Um, so yes, I'm looking forward to seeing all of your different types of squirrel. So what you need to do, you need to get your grown up to take a picture of your drawing, post it on social media using the draw with Rob hashtag as per usual, that way I'll get to see it. And then who knows, maybe your drawing will be in the grid at the end of the week. Um, I've had a lot of fun drawing this picture with you this week. I hope you've had fun drawing with me. Um, I'm going to be back very soon um, with a brand new Draw With Rob video. Until then, everybody, please take care of yourselves. Um, carry on drawing. Keep those pencils sharpened. Remember, go slow when you get to the edges, when you're colouring in, all that sort of thing. Keep practising. And um, I will see you soon for another episode. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.